Hi everyone, Yagi here. In this tutorial, we're going to go over text formatting in Google Sheets. So you can see at the top here, I have bold, italic, underline, and strike through. So if you're familiar, familiar with the standard shortcuts in most uh, operating systems, they'll probably help you out as well. First, we've got our bold. As you know, control B for bold. Or you can go up to this sub menu here and click on bold or unclick it. So if I unclick it, it returns to normal or I can click bold to return it to bold. Let's unclick that again. Another way of accessing these, you can go to format and you can click bold here. It also gives you some handy instructions for your shortcuts to access these things. All right, italics again, control I or control I to go back. Or we can go up to our shortcuts here and select control I, control I to back or format italics. So underline, we can use control U as a shortcut. Underline isn't usually available up the top here in the, this uh, sub menu. So you can go to format if you want to and click it here. All right, so let's click back on so it's underlined. And for strike three, strike three is available. You can click here or you can use the shortcut. Let's undo it with the shortcut. It was, I always forget, it's alt shift and five. So alt shift five and Alt Shift 5 to put it back on. Great, let's move on to font size. Here for font size, you can change the font size anytime through using this font size button here. So to make it smaller or to make it bigger. You can also make uh, custom sizes as well. So for example, I can make it size 17 or size 50. All right, so let's move this back to size 14 now that looks pretty tidy okay so for font style it's right next to it there's some a standard set of font styles that google hats so up the top here you've got a theme style that goes with your current theme more on this later and also a list of recent ones recent ones if you haven't used other font styles are always going to be this robot robot mono that uh, comforter oswald animatic and trebuchet so let's uh, let's go through and have a look for caveat, for example. We can change that. We can have a look at everyone's favorite Comic Sans. Uh, Impact. And Georgia. I usually stick with the standard Arial whenever I'm doing uh, sheets. It seems to be the clearest thing though. What about font color? We can change the font color here. All you have to do is go where it says bold italic strike through on the right here is the text color. It can be a little bit confusing because it's usually set to black, but you can click on here and you can see a really nice palette of colors that Google provides. So for example, we might want to make that dark green. Let's bold this to make it clearer for you and make change the size a bit. There we go. Let's spread that out too. Okay. We can make it a lighter blue. Uh, we can make it red, of course. Now, you might want to use lighter colors as well, but just keep in mind that they are going to get lost in the background if the background's white. We'll talk about the black, uh, the background in another tutorial. Now, this you're not just limited to these colors. You also have custom colors, which will give you the full palette that you can work with. So here we're in the red range. We can change our hue over to like a very dark, there we go, very dark red and click OK. All right, let's look at a quick example. I've got a sheet here with some data in it and we can see straight off that we have a title here that we want to make larger. So let's make this, a, change the font size first and make this, well, let's say size 18. That's not too bad. Let's go in and change the style, um, something more flowing for the title perhaps, but we'll keep everything else as aerial. Now in our second uh, row, we've got these sub or these headers for each column. Let's hold down shift and click over to here. So that was to select a range. We click and drag like this, or again, we can click on A2 and hold shift down and click on E2. Cool. So let's make these bold and just so they pop a little bit more. We could even think about changing the color. So perhaps we might go in and change our text color to 
perhaps a nice dark purple. That seems a little bit light still. There we go, just a slight change in color, just to allow it to, to shine a bit more. Okay, so we've got a list of days of the week here. We've got some percentages and totals. So perhaps with these totals, they seem pretty important. So let's make them bold. So here we might press Control B. And these success rates too, they seem important. Not as important as the total though. So let's just, so what I did there is clicked up here and hold Control Shift down on this uh, E12 to select the range. And I'm going to select Italic here. So these totals again seem quite important as well. So let's hold Shift down and select everything. Let's make everything bold here, so Control B. So let's change the same one that we had in our header. So let's click here and to dark purple too. Great. I might put make this italic again just to come in line with these ones as well. So italic here. Okay. So that's the example of how to use uh, the text formatting in Google Sheets. I'll see you in the next tutorial.